Hey guys, welcome back to part 39 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons, and today is Snowflake Day, which just so happens to be one of my most favorite holidays in the game, and of course, Christmas in real life. So, we're gonna go ahead and obviously, obviously slow, um, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're gonna obviously throw a gift-giving party because, you know, that's just kind of what you do on Snowflake Day, and a lot of crap happened when these guys were sleeping. We got robbed. Mm-hmm. And Sherry started showing, but um, I didn't even bother calling the police, but Athena was on top of that. She called the police, and fortunately, the cops came just in time, and um, what the robbers stole was actually a stove and our shower-bath combination, and yeah, only in The Sims can they shove all that crap in a little hefty garbage bag, because, like, seriously? I don't even understand. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put um, that stuff back where it belongs because Kirsten wants to cook, you know, maybe some pumpkin pie for the occasion. And, um, you know, I I'm sure the Sims probably want to shower and uh, don't want to have to share a bathroom. So we're good. I also went ahead and, um, oh, look at our snowman. He's like decapitated. <laughs> um, I also went ahead and kind of sort of decorated for the occasion. Nothing too fancy. And everybody and the mother asks me, Jennifer, where? Where did you get this Christmas tree? I got it from the Sims 3 store when it was free. I don't know where it is, if it's still there, if it's not. Do a little research and I'm sure you'll find it. But yeah, Sims 3 store content. Um, same thing goes with the reef and the little hanky socks or just the stocking. Sure. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think that's about all. We're going to go ahead and jump on in. Everyone is so upset because they got robbed. Probably need to invest in a alarm system because that would probably be helpful. Uh, Jake cannot wait for Kirsten and is going to go ahead and um, eat, a, cook, eat himself, cook himself, eat a little slice of cake. But we're going to have Kirsten really fast go ahead and throw a party. And I think we're going to invite some of our our closer family and friends um i'm not really sure who and kirsten's looking a little pregnant i'm not exactly sure what that's about and no she's not pregnant you can't get pregnant when you're an elder at least in the sims so of course we are going to throw gift giving party i guess we could set it for nine the earlier the better uh and casual attire um as for people to invite should we invite taryn nope because reed's not here anymore We're, we don't really need to invite her uh we're of course gonna invite sherry's parents um drea <clears throat> Vera, and I feel like we need to invite Casey, obviously, and Reed. So we will invite these people, and everything is ready, set, potty time. Um, and of course, all the Sims are going to start hitting on us. Anyway, of, what was I going to say? Of course again, why would I say that? I don't know. Uh, we're going to have Kirsten go and serve some. Ooh, we're going to do an organic cheese plate. And then we're also going to do organic pumpkin pie. And uh, Jake is kind of looking like Hugh Hefner in his little ensemble. Looks nice. All right. Let's see. Let's go check on Sherry. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what you want to do when you're pregnant. You want to go ahead and plunge the toilet. But yeah, she's, she's starting to kind of sort of show. And I thought it was really funny because she wants a boy. And I've already decided if indeed it is a boy, we're going to name him after Connor's father. And his name will be Blake. Just because I think that's what you should kind of sort of do. Um, and Connor wants a girl. So if you guys have any sort of idea on girl names, I would love for you to drop it down below. Mm -hmm. Give a girl give a girl an idea. <laughs> sure. So yeah, let me know what you think um, as for girl names. Or you know what, even boy names if I decide something a little bit better. But I'm pretty sure we're going to go with Blake. Mm -hmm. I think our cheese platter is ready. And Athena is going to go ahead and grab a plate. We're going to select that. And she also wants to preside over the royal court. And a whole bunch of people um, actually want to kiss under the mistletoe. And there's our little gift-giving rug. Very exciting. I'm very excited, actually. I hope we, Hopefully we get good gifts. I can't remember what we got last time. But we're going to go place that right here in the center. Um, so it's kind of close to the Christmas tree and dead center in the middle of the living room. Of course, that's not enough seating places, but whatever. I'm, I'm really not too uh, picky about that situation. And it looks like JJ brought some pancakes. So our sims are going to be fat and full all at the same time. And uh, <laughs> here's Kirsten being a little homemaker. I love it. I really do. She's so cute. Um, all right. 
So we got Drea here. I'm just waiting for Casey. Vera. And Jake is just being a social outcast. <laughs> she needs to come down and greet her parents when she's done. Oh, Vera, sweetie. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm. Party foul. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, who's this guy? This is Roger. Ah, oh, I really hope Casey comes, you guys. Oh, there she is. Yay! Casey. Oh, you guys wanted me to play her and uh, get her pregnant. I definitely have to work on that. I totally forgot. I knew there was something else I had to do, but her little ensemble here is just not crack a -lacking. Um, oh, there it is. Wow, we're actually coming together. So is she done? She's eating an olive plate. Everybody's eating and stuffing their freaking faces. And here's Reed. I guess I should have invited Taryn, but I don't know. I feel like every time I turn around, the girl's in my face. <laughs> Always showing everyone up, making Kirsten feel bad, especially because she's still younger than Kirsten. So we're just going to let the fam bam eat and enjoy some of Kirsten's goodness. Um, and I don't know why you, you, you're staring at, you're staring at Sherry's parents and, um, what, you have a thing, you have a thing against Sean Paul? Because that's what exactly, that's what, um, Sherry's dad reminds me of with his little, his little cornrows. Alright, uh, let's have her go ahead and, um, greet her mom for a little bit. Oh, let's go ahead and, of course, announce the pregnancy, because that is very freaking exciting. Uh, hopefully her mom will stop in her tracks there. She's not happy about a broken sink. We'll do something about it. <gasps> oh, yay! She's like, thumbs up, sister! Alrighty, well, you should definitely be all sorts of proud. And I wonder how Kirsten's gonna react to it. We haven't even told her yet. Um, I bet she's really happy because that's probably something Kirsten has wanted all along. Oh my gosh, this house is incomplete. Disarray and Sherry here. <laughs> I think she's on American Idol. Uh, let's go have her repair the sink really quick. Just because, I mean, oh, that that just is annoying me. Really, really, really bad. Let's see. Oh, Athena <laughs> and Connor are talking about composting. You can definitely tell they're uh, Kirsten's offspring. Very eco-efficient. Uh, let's see. Everybody is still eating. Holy crap. And it looks like um, Reed here. Not Reed. <laughs> it looks like Jake is just watching the game. And um, everybody is now going to go ahead and uh, open up gifts. There's just so much love going around in this room. I can't even handle it. Who are you? Oliver Green Greenwood. Oh, we still got Midget Granny over here. People weren't even invited and they just show up. What is going on? Ugh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of screaming and crying. Well, they brought gifts. I ain't complaining. Alright, can we please? Seriously, what is this lady? Like, look at her. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the funniest glitch ever. I thought they fixed that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, girl. You sassy. All right. Wow, look at all these gifts. Can I have one? Dre, you put crack show one, girl. Pull up your pants. Let's see what Athena got. She's so excited. <gasps> Did you get a doll? Oh, let me see. Oh, it says, Athena Summers has received the Sunny Brook Home dollhouse and it has been placed in her inventory. I think she already has one, but what doesn't Athena have, really? Kirsten received $70 of her pension. How amazing. Feeling like a baller over there. Oh. It says, Connor opened a gift so bad, he'll remember this disappointing moment for a very, very long time. And it looks like um, he probably got a flamingo. Casey got something good. Um, looks like she got an easel. I think that's what we got last time. And Sherry got an art easel as well, so we could definitely do some painting. And yes, haha, -ha, Connor Springston received a shocking pink flamingo. The second edition. It has been placed in his inventory. And uh, Kirsten received a alarm clock. Very nice. Oh, Jake received a mistletoe. <laughs> Yay, we have one. I guess he could sell for some simoleons. Uh, Connor is disgusted by the spoiled food in his inventory. Yada yada yada. Come on, Midget McGee. Gosh, why does she walk like that? Maybe it's some sort of glitch with the cane and old people? I really don't know. 
<laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, it looks like everybody that we know got our gifts. Um, the party's actually a real freaking success, and the carpool supposedly is coming for Connor in an hour. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take a second from this little fiesta, and I'm going to see what we're going to use and what we're not. Connor's flamingo has to go outside. He's probably going to beat the crap out of it, but that's okay. Uh, in fact, we're going to put it right next to his motorcycle, so every time he comes to ride the bike, he can remember this pink flamingo. Okay. Very nice. Um, do we need any of this? Let's see if Athena has that uh, dollhouse. Of course she does, but she has the Katy Perry one. But I think we're going to sell it for some simoleons and she ages in about i think a couple days so we'll probably save that extra cash for maybe getting her a car or something like that um i'll have to remember and then we can i think we can make use of this alarm clock um i don't know can we because she doesn't really have any reason to get up anymore <laughs> like she doesn't work or anything so eh, i guess we'll sell that let's see if we have an art easel i don't think we do oh Reed's room is so empty. Oh, well, we'll fill it up with a baby later. Oh, yeah, we have an easel, too. What don't we have, you guys? Seriously. What we don't have is enough simoleons, so we'll sell that and that. So, unfortunately, we didn't really get anything useful, but we got some pretty damn good gifts, so. All right, um, Dre Dre, what did you get? A mistletoe, too? Wow, nice. Let's see if we can have Kirsten go interact with Casey a little bit. We're going to reminisce about her childhood. Um, hopefully we can interact with her. I'm not exactly sure. Where is Kirsten? Kirsten. Um, all right, so she's going to go interact with her. We definitely have to have Jake and Kirsten kiss under the mistletoe. And um, the same thing with Sherry and Connor. So let's see i wonder if she's in a relationship at all no she's not yet Aww. i remember when she was like a little girl Ugh. and i keep calling athena casey every chance i get <laughs> like i can't let go of the room brings tears to my eyes connor what did you get this time oh my gosh you got a rainbow light connor someone's trying to tell you something boo a pink flamingo and a rainbow light. I am not judging, though. By all means. <laughs> he's not getting good gifts. And he's, like, really upset to the point where he's, like, walked away. Um, I think it's time to go, but I had fun, so thanks. Oh, I love it. I miss her so much. I really do miss Casey. Um, let's ask for a kiss, Jake Summers. And Sherry wastes no time busting out the old guitar. Nice. Alrighty, hopefully Jake is going to go in for this kiss. Received text from Taryn Hobbs. Hmm, interesting. wonder what text message we got from her. Oh, she's probably like, you didn't invite me to your party, Jake? <laughs> How could you do that to me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a little dramatic. Aww. Oh, I also wanted to point out that, um... You're really that excited? You got an invite from her. Ah, uh, we'll check that in just a second. But what was I going to say? Um, Jake and Kirsten both got the internally faithful Sims better make the right choice when they choose a partner because they will be with them for eternity. So that's really sweet. I think that um, that's a nice little uh, icon because <laughs> it goes from it goes from being like um, faithful to internally faithful. Alrighty, we're gonna have her um, answer her phone and then also ask for a kiss from you, uh, Connor. I was saying you because it says Kirsten. It says, um, <clears throat> a manager at the gym has challenged you to jog one hour around town. The managers of the challenge are giving you a tracking device to make sure you actually are running. Start jogging, then return the device when you're done to earn a cash prize. Um, yes. An hour is so easy. But it looks like our party was a blast and everyone is leaving really happy and this guy's playing the, uh, I don't even know <laughs> what that is. That's sad, huh? Um, let's have them go and, go and give us some Ujirune. She hasn't even told Connor she's pregnant. He probably doesn't even understand what's going on. <laughs> He's like so shy about it. I love it. All right, let's go and uh, tell you boo that um, you're gonna have his baby. Because he probably should know that. Gosh, Connor, why are you so grumpy? 
he really aged up nice. Like, he's he's a pretty damn good-looking guy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Kirsten's party was awesome. Verging on epic. Sims will be talking about this one. Around town for years. Something like that. Remix version. <laughs> so Connor's a little bit hungry, of course. He's excited to be a daddy. Um... And little by little, Sherry is slowly growing. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh, we're gonna feel her tummy. Oh. 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 Whoever is playing the drums is ruining the... Di Kirsten, <laughs> you're ruining the moment, girl. Why don't you go do some chores with yourself? I'm, I'm trying to have a moment and you're messing it up. Uh, we're gonna make the bed. And then we're going to have Jake go ahead and, um, let's see, he is going to discover some potions. Why not? Kirst er, wow. Athena is playing with Layla, but we'll also have her do some rocket. No, actually, you know what? She wants to preside over the royal courts, so we will go ahead and uh, have, her, have her do that. Preside over the royal, royal court. And instead, we're going to... Um, have Jake put away all of these leftovers because I don't want them to spoil. Um, and we'll definitely have food for quite a while. There's tons and tons to eat. So let's put away. Wow, we really got a lot. Okay. So now that we're good, let's go ahead and jump back into the mushy goodness here. We're also going to have him listen to Z Tummy. Oh. Can you guys hear that? I live by Boeing, <laughs> and so like I get these big jets, and um, yeah, they're really loud. Like the one there was one time here in Seattle, I think there's like, it's like Seafair or something like that, and they were so loud to my house. Like I ran outside. I thought they were gonna crash. Like I'm so. I think one of my ultimate fears is that a plane's gonna crash into my house. Like I've had that fear since I was really young. Weird. Yeah, I know. Just just a random little something something. And here's Athena presiding over the royal court. Huh. Interesting. Queen Athena. <laughs> she is so freaking adorable. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's check on Kirsten. Okay. Everything's pretty good. Um, I was thinking we could have Sherry start a blog about her pregnancy. I thought that would be kind of cool. Oh, sorry to interrupt there, love bugs. And then we'll have Connor take a bubble bath. Um, I was thinking, yeah, again, she could probably go ahead and start start a blog. I kind of want to earn some extra money on the on the side here because babies are expensive. Um, even though we have a lot of hand-me-downs from the previous children, I think that would be um, relatively helpful. So let's hop into smartphone. Um, let's see, where is the blogging app? I don't see it. Can we do it? Social networks, stream video bias web. I think we have to use our phone a little more, unfortunately. Uh, we can actually send a breakup text to Connor, but we're not going to do that, obviously. Uh, so let's just text somebody. Like, who do we text? I don't even know anymore. Um, social networking. Okay. <laughs> let's send a friendly text. Um, I really want her to, um... To boost this up so we can actually have a uh, have a blog here. Um, what? Why are we enemies with Jake? I don't understand why. Well, we needed to fix that ASAP, but let's just send a text message to Kirsten. Why are we enemies? Like, I don't understand what... what Jake just has a lot of enemies. Like, does he get along with anybody? Seriously. Um, well, I know one way we can actually butter him up a little bit. Let's just go tell him we're having his grandchild. Um... He's kind of a grumpy old man, <laughs> to be relatively honest. He's he's just a grump. Like, he's such a Scrooge. Like, I don't think he can handle being old. Like, he's nothing like he used to be, um, which is kind of sad, you know? He, just, he was such a friendly, outgoing family man, and as he got older, he kind of got bitter. But anyway, uh, so we're just going to be really friendly. I want to ask him about his day, like we really care. Um, we're going to enthuse about exercise because we know that's something he likes. We'll even brighten his day a little bit. But we definitely want to get on his good side because, I mean, after, you know, after everything, he's, he's our, um, shouldn't he be our father-in-law? Or, I don't know how that works because Sherry's parents are, oh, no, 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 because he's, okay, because he's step, but whatever. 
Um, we're also getting a phone call. Anyway, from the new country living set, there was chickens. And I absolutely love these little critters to death. I will definitely link my review down below. Love them. Like, love the chickens. They are so freaking cute. They make me sick. Like, oh, I love them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and have Kirsten have some things to do. Um, while she's home, you know, obviously when the grandbaby comes, we'll have plenty, plenty, plenty to do. But I figure, you know, just to add a little something, something to the family. So now I just got to go ahead and find where the, um, where the chicken coop is. So each one is about $1,500. And since we don't have a lot of room, I'll just go and place one for now. Um, not really sure why I want to get them this, but I think harvesting the eggs and stuff like that is kind of fun. And yeah. I just figured it'd be something extra to do, and yeah, I think Athena would also like it. So now that we uh, now that we got that, um, let's just continue building the relationship here. Let me pause this real quick. Uh, we'll have Jake ignore that phone call really fast. Smartphone. Let's see. Am I missing it? Ignore call. Okay. And then let's. We'll just do a whole bunch of interactions to keep keep the conversation flowing. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, but we really, 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 um, like I said, just want, want them to be happy with each other because that's just an awkward situation to have your um, in-laws hate you. <laughs> like, I don't know from experience, but uh, just be embarrassing. Um, so let's do that. And then Kirsten, she's reading Breaking Winds. And instead, let's have her go ahead and uh, we'll have her feed those chickens. Oh, there's a random slice of pie. Let's put that in the fridge. What is Connor doing? He is still in the bathtub, just loving it up with his little bubbles. Um, and Athena is also taking a bath. And she wants to have a snowball fight. So maybe we'll have her um, do that with Kirsten. It's so pretty. I love the snow. Like, seriously, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm definitely going to put this uh, up this house on the exchange after I revert it back to pre-snowflake uh, day so you guys can, you know, get it as it is. And I'm going to put that up now because you guys are just requesting it so much that I don't think I can wait any longer. Um, <laughs> Kirsten, <laughs> even though she's older, she still has a young spirit. I love her. Um, let's see. But yeah, I'm going to put that up on the exchange for you guys. Let's see. Make snowman. Um, make snowman with Athena. And then I think Connor's just about finished here. And um, when Sherry's done, I'm thinking we can go um, jog around the block. Maybe we should. I don't know. I'm probably going to have her stop that. At least we're okay. We're, we're somewhat friendly. Uh, let's have Connor grab something to eat really quick. And I think before we um, wrap up the night, we're going to have them um, go to the gym for a little bit. Let's have her go over here. And she wants to buy a stuffed animal and play the guitar in the park. Is there anything else that she needs? She needs to use the restroom, of course, because she is peggers. Um, and the toilet is clogged. Argue with Charles the Angry Chicken. All right, we'll let you argue with Charles. Take out some of your hormones on the poor chicken. And she's starting to have that pregnancy swag. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, stop talking to me, girl. Mm -hmm. Tail feathers in your face. It is hard to understand Charles the Evil Chicken, but Cherry thinks that she said you should take off that stupid sim suit. Ooh, burn. <laughs> what? It is late, so should we even bother going to the gym? Nah. Nah. But when she's finished, we're going to have her text a whole bunch of people. Let's do text. Send friendly text. We're going to text people we don't even know. Uh, we're going to send friendly text. That's all we can do? We're just going to just text a whole bunch of people. Oh, Cher, you didn't... Ew. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. He wants to also build a snowman. Well, everybody just wants to build snowmans today. All right. I think that's it. I think we're just about finished. Um, everyone is kind of getting sleepy. No, not really. Meh, maybe a little bit. I think we should just wrap up the part here, but... Um, nah, I'll go ahead and I'll give it a few more minutes. With a few swipes of her finger, Sherry has discovered the vast digital world of social networking from texting to blogging. Ooh, all right. So let's have her go ahead and start up a blog then. I mean, I think we've unlocked that and that'd be kind of fun. So I really have a hard time finding the stupid things. Um, <clears throat> all right, awesome. 
Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and make ourselves a blog. It says a window into a newfound friendship. Nah, we want her to kind of blog about her life and her pregnancy. So we are gonna go ahead and name this blog the life of Sherry Ann Springston. There we go. It's official. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create this blog and we'll start off with a new post. And the, in the first one it says, and that's why you should never try changing career paths. We're just gonna name this one uh, Preggers and Peeing Every Two Minutes because that's a true story. So we're gonna post that one to our blog and 13 people related or liked that post. So awesome, now that we got that, we definitely wanna keep up with it. Uh, we're gonna have to clean up the bad food and grab a yogurt. Let's see what Connor's doing. He is gonna go check out the new object. And I don't know who this chickadee nah, is just boy. chilling out here, but um, right. Let's see, can we harvest the eggs? Nope, the eggs will be ready in five hours. We're gonna ask if it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Oh, Connor, hopefully you will never have to go through that because your mother did. Um, and this is like the nice chicken, right? And then Charles is the angry chicken. Charles, <laughs> I absolutely freaking love his name. Let's have him go and feed the, fill up the bowl for, uh, yeah, fill up the bowl for the kitty. Um, and I think that's really it. There's not much to do, like I said. <gasps> Kirsten discovered how to make a Grim Reaper snowman. Oh, scary. So yeah, today was just kind of like a homebody kind of day. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for them today. I think they're just gonna pretty much wrap it up uh, because this part's probably extremely freaking long, but we're gonna have them go to bed really, really early today so they can wake up bright and early and enjoy their day tomorrow. Um, uh, Kirsten's gonna grab a cheese plate and then she's gonna go to sleep and then I think Athena here needs to also go to bed because it is way, way, way past her bedtime. Um, we'll feed her in the morning and Connor is already in bed. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm just gonna have everybody wrap it up and take a nap. I don't know if you guys seen this in my last part or if I even showed you, but I also cher uh, cherried, uh, changed Sherry's hair color and put some brownish caramel highlights in it. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up party, party. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and wrap up part 39 right here. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and also give me your baby girl um, name ideas. And yeah, I'll see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.